Hi there, my name is Ange, otherwise known as Pumpkin Geek, and this is a quick unplanned video again because my laptop's still broken. Fingers crossed, normal service will be resumed next week. Hopefully, my laptop will be fixed by then. Anyways, um, this week's video is with regards to the hashtag that's been doing the rounds on social media, inspired by one of Donald Trump's tweets. Who else? Um, with regard to Christine Blaisley Ford, I apologise if I got that name wrong, and why she didn't report it, and where's the evidence of her reporting it. Um, as I mentioned in other videos, especially the Me Too video, I was also a victim of sexual assault, um, and I didn't report it. Um, there's a number of different reasons why. For me, and I can only speak from my own personal experience, the reason I didn't report mine, well, my two, was the first one was because I was just too young to have understood what was happening and, you know, who's going to take the word of a child over what may or may not have been a um, innocent misunderstanding, especially since the boy involved was only a couple of years older um, so I don't really count that one but others may uh, the one that does stick out in my mind that you know definitely would qualify as sexual assault was an incident in my 20s I'm not going to give details mainly because um, I've got to try and keep some things private but let's just say I was in a situation where I was took advantage of um, and this guy didn't understand that no really meant no and it was only by chance that I wasn't raped. Um, I still felt violated by what he did, especially as he was much older than me and I was put in a really vulnerable situation by somebody who I should have been able to trust. Not a family member, I hasten to add. Definitely not a family member, but again, it was somebody who I should have been able to trust and I did trust and um, probably just too easily but it happened and I learned a really important life lesson that day which was sadly not to trust anyone and to this day the only person I feel comfortable sorry the only male I feel comfortable being alone in a car with is my own father um yeah so why didn't I report it? Number of reasons, like I said. First one was um, lack of understanding of what assault was and just exactly what had happened. Um, I went into shock. It's fair to say, and I kind of tried to block it out. And when that didn't work, I did report it to somebody in authority that wasn't the place and I was basically discouraged from reporting it um, so I didn't have the support in place that I should have had and needed to have had to be able to report it um, and I guess another reason was I kind of thought I now realise this isn't the case but I thought it was my fault that it had happened which is, if you know the circumstances, you would realise it's absolutely ridiculous. In fact, you know what, even without knowing the circumstances, it was completely his fault. And he shouldn't have acted the way he did. Now, I wasn't drunk and I wasn't dressed promiscuously. And I did absolutely nothing to even suggest his actions were what I was after but when he was questioned about it 
by this person in authority he came back with it was a silly misunderstanding and it was pretty much left at that but you know what it wasn't a silly misunderstanding and it shouldn't have been left at that um and i honestly wish but part of me wishes i had reported it and the other part of me kind of glad that i didn't because I don't know if I would have had the strength to keep on reliving and having to explain to a number of different people what had happened. And at the end of the day, sadly, the chances of a conviction happening were very, very slim. There was no physical evidence and it would have been my word against his. And we all know what happens in cases like that. Even if it does make get to court it very rarely ends in a conviction um and that is absolutely shocking um i obviously understand that it's innocent until presumed guilty or found guilty but in these cases it's not as though there's like a body to get evidence from and you know uh, uh, in other crimes the word of a person is good enough but why isn't it in sexual assaults and rapes you know yeah the, not just in america but just worldwide this needs to be addressed and it needs to be sorted out and until that happens um women are going to be afraid to come forward but i guess the other reason is you know this culture of like especially with rich white men the whole boys will be boys culture which is absolute bs because you know if we're teaching boys that it's acceptable because we're just excusing it as boys will be boys or in the case of was it brock brock turner you know he's an athlete he's a good student it's going to damage his reputation it's going to ruin his life you know if they're getting lenient sentences because of stuff like that or because they come from money or simply because people are white we're never going to get you, sis. Um, yeah. I kind of guess that's what I wanted to say. You know, there's many, many reasons women don't come forward, be it lack of support or lack of faith in the system in some cases. Or, you know, it's like it's just being explained, boys will be boys and you're going to be treated like a slut if you do come forward. That entire culture really needs to change. Um, but yes, I watched some of the testimony that happened and I can't believe that was actually recorded, let alone given to other countries to put on the news. Um, so that was shitty. Sorry, I'm just trying to get into a better position. I really can't, so I'm going to end this video soon. But um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I watched some of the footage from the testimony that she gave and then some that he gave. I believe her. Um, and I'm glad that she had the strength to come forward. Because if more people come forward, it's going to encourage more people to come forward. But they just need to be systems in place um so you know she came forward and like she's getting a lot of hate she's getting a lot of flack it's, it's become like this political football where if you believe her you seem to be from one party if you don't you seem to be the other party no politics shouldn't be part of this at the end of the day she came forward there should have been a full investigation there wasn't 
so that's crap as it is the fact that she was made to give like her statement in front of cameras which must have been terrifying and then for like the fact that I even know about this in a small town in England is just I find quite unbelievable I really can't do anything about that shadow it's quite late and it's quite dark um it's just quite unbelievable and shocking and if that's the way she's been treated as somebody from like education like educated obviously has the means and the support to be able to do this <sighs> i don't know how other people are supposed to come forward without that support in place if they're just going to be treated the same i don't know as a society our attitudes need to change and it isn't just boys being boys you know men they need to be taught that if a girl is not into it and is not giving clear yes then your dick stays in your pants you keep your hands to yourself and you walk away anyhow that being said I've been Ange and I will see you next time hopefully with the ability to edit so it's not like a long rambly mess if you like this video and want more then please feel free to click like and subscribe and yeah bye